Hi, my name is Kaze and welcome to another Ray Brain tutorial. More than a tutorial, this is a little uh, update video just to catch you guys up with what I've been doing here on my end. So, um, first things first, I got a haircut. My girlfriend, Christina, gave me a haircut right here at the house and I'm very, very happy about it. I think she did like, a really good job, so I'm very excited and I feel so much more presentable now. So, uh, that's very, very cool. Um, I, myself, have been in learning mode right now, so I am watching a bunch of tutorials, I'm learning a bunch of new things in Houdini, a lot of stuff kind of related to pyro simulations and particles and destruction and things like that. So, rest assured that as I learn these new skills, I'm going to be making new videos and sharing all of my newfound knowledge with you guys. In the meantime, if you want to watch some really, really cool videos, I highly recommend that you check out the Houdini Hive presentations that happened last week and that have been posted on the Side Effects website. I'm going to post the link uh, right here. Uh, Houdini Hive is basically a bunch of really, really smart people talking about really cool things in Houdini. Most importantly, there was this really teeny tiny sneak peek at what's coming up next in an upcoming version of Houdini. And what they did say is that June is when they're going to make some sort of announcement. I'm hoping, uh, uh, you know, Houdini 18.5, who knows, maybe even Houdini 19, we'll see. But that's coming up in June, which is just a few days away. So keep your eyes peeled on the Side Effects website for updates on what is coming up next from Side Effects. What else? Uh, I know that I've had a lot of requests from you guys about a camera motion tracking tutorial in Blender that then we can bring all that information into Houdini. Uh, I heard you loud and clear. It's coming. I'm just trying to figure out what the best way of presenting that process is. And I want to do it in such a way that is not just you know, a rehash of some pre-existing tutorials, but that actually brings some new information into the table in a right brain sort of way. The other thing that's been requested quite a lot is more Redshift tutorials. Unfortunately, at the moment, I'm not using Redshift. As some of you might know, I work in Mac OS X, and currently Redshift does not work with Mac OS X. Uh, supposedly, like the Redshift guys have been working on a metal version of it, so that should be coming up soon, but for the time being, I'm not working on Redshift, so I can't really make Redshift tutorials. Having said that, last November I made a presentation here in Los Angeles for the uh, Houdini user group that was uh, kindly taped by SideFX's uh, Ben Mears and has been posted on the SideFX website and you can watch the entire presentation where I cover everything from building textures in Redshift to some more advanced uh, uses such as uh, instancing and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to post uh, once again a link up here so you can kind of uh, check out uh, the entire presentation and uh, also while on the subject of renderers I was recently a guest on a podcast from Arise Works and uh, the entire uh, conversation revolved around render engines and I have like a lot of very strong opinions so I'm going to post once again a link up here for Arise Works uh, uh, podcast where you can check out uh, kind of like what my thoughts are on the state of rendering engines and uh, where I think things are headed. Last but not least, I wanted to mention that we're nearing 1,000 subscribers to this channel. There's been a surge of new subscribers in the past couple of weeks. I am very excited and deeply humbled by all the attention that this channel has been getting. Rest assured that I am planning some cool, new, exciting videos. So stay tuned because there's more coming very, very soon. And in the meantime, I'll see you around.